Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The Trishakti Corps, a significant division of the Indian Army, has successfully concluded its annual anti-tank guided missile, ATGM, firing drill, a pivotal element within the Eastern Command's training regimen. Held at the Tista firing range, approximately 15 kilometers northeast of Shiliguri, the exercise spanned from February 20 to 28, 2024. Over 1,500 personnel from diverse units, including infantry and mechanized infantry battalions, participated in this command-level training initiative, aimed at honing their combat readiness and tactical acumen. Under the guidance of the Trishakti Corps, the participants launched more than 260 missiles with the strategic objective of achieving a one-missile, one-tank success rate. This ambitious goal underscores the exercise's emphasis on precision and effectiveness in countering armored threats. The training scenario simulated realistic combat environments where tanks assumed a prominent role, evaluating the adaptability and proficiency of ATGM detachments. Activities encompassed missile launches from various platforms, including the recently integrated indigenous light strike vehicle, alongside conventional ground-based setups. Furthermore, the exercise highlighted the deployment of detachments via helicopters, showcasing the comprehensive anti-tank capabilities of the Corps. A notable ATGM system in India's arsenal is the Russian Cornet missile. Weighing 28 kilograms, the Cornet is a lightweight, man-portable anti-tank missile system primarily carried by infantry. Despite originating from the Soviet era, it entered service in 1998 following some delays. In addition to incorporating foreign systems like the Cornet, India is exploring the development and acquisition of advanced anti-tank technologies from other global partners. While the primary focus remains on the Russian Cornet system, India historically diversifies its armament procurement to include technologies from various nations, bolstering its defensive capabilities while upholding strategic autonomy. The presence of the General Officer Commanding, GOC, of the Trishakti Corps during the exercise underscored its significance. He lauded the troops for their exemplary professionalism and preparedness, urging them to strive for mastery in handling this critical battlefield asset. This exercise not only showcases the operational prowess of the Trishakti Corps but also reaffirms its dedication to maintaining peak combat readiness and tactical proficiency. That's all for now. See you later.